bale number one, ain't her? Yep. We're tying it now. Catch it. Nice. Might take off rolling up down the highway, might. Yeah. So everybody wouldn't think it's even field up here where we are, halfway top of the mountain. Yeah. Going up the big road down at two lane blacktop, you wouldn't think they'd even hay field up in here. You know, it's up on top of a big ridge up here. Nice little field once you get up here, but it's hard to get to. A little old Nari uh, logging road. <clears throat> kind of grow up on here. What a poor farmer has to do for it, roll a hay. Looks like the sound is good, doesn't it? See, he's having a zigzag, and you roll half one of these little rollers like this, you want to feed both sides to make a nice, consistent roll. You've got to go back and forth, put a little bit on this side, put a little bit on that side, to make the roll even. Bell kicker, and you don't have to back up or nothing, got all the bells and whistles on. Uh, just poor folks like us, it's all we can afford to do with, but it does a real good job. You know, you just got to go back and forth, keep it fed, make a nice consistent roll, I guess. See, when he gets the roll made, uh, he's got to stop, put spring around tight, uh, cut the PTO off, uh, back up. Get the hydraulics, raise the tailgate, let's roll out, and put everything back. Go again. That little baler was about brand new in 2010. Been paid for for a long time. Ferguson makes good equipment. Heston makes good equipment. See, he's got another bale now. <clears throat> Making a racket, making those bales full. He's reaching back up. He's got a manual tie. All these men got a little toggle switch, little electronic box. He's tight for you. Now this one here, you actually got a big spring loaded arm. You got to reach back around and pull the rope. And you control how much the twine goes on. And you pull it over one side and gently let it go back how close you want the twine. You can put a lot, you can put a little, you can put none if you don't want to put none. High as it's getting the uh, bailing twine, well, the fellas are probably going to have to end up going with none if you ain't careful. The price of everything going through the roof. A lot of folks don't know the backstory on the round bailers. When the round bailers first come out, they were simply a transporter. They were not to bail regular hay with and store it. They were just a transporter. All these big dairy farms where they keep the cows up and they never get to get out and pick grass. They just milk them, they go with loaf and shed, and they never go pig. All the round bailers when they first come out, they mold the hay. Put me in front of the thing around, take it right to where the cattle was at, and dump it out. It was a transport, basically. You didn't have to build no fence, didn't let the cows go out to the pasture, nothing like that. You just transported the feed from there in the hay field 
to the cows. You have to build an old fence that like it when it's come milking time. You have to go gather the cows in the milk is right there in the loaf and shed just eating. They went the loaf and shed right back in the milk. That's basically what they designed for them. Everybody got to use them for just regular hay rolling and stuff like that. And they've really come a long way since. You can get them with bell kickers and all the bells and whistles on them just like a Cadillac. If you got enough money. Two things we ain't got enough of. Money and time. 